Case numbers rising, thousands of parents are asking a big question. Is it time for kids to go back to school? Districts in the state are wrestling with the idea of how to do so safely. And as News Channel 5's Kyle Horan learned, as we rebound, some educators say there's some serious concerns about what happens if someone gets COVID-19. Across Middle Tennessee, multiple school systems have said that they want to reopen and allow kids to go back to school. But the question now is, is it even safe to do so? And what happens if someone in the classroom gets sick? It's quiet outside Middle Tennessee schools right now. But in just about a month, many will be back in session in person. Going back to school has some educators questioning how to keep students and staff safe. These are issues that people like Beth Brown, a high school teacher, think about often. We've not seen any specific guidance uh, per se from the state. The decisions are being left largely to local districts. Brown is also the president of Tennessee Education Association, an advocacy group for teachers and students. We understand that um, every district is different. The way that COVID is manifesting in each district is different and every district has unique needs. Um, what isn't unique, however, is the need for um, student and educator safety, health and well being to be the primary concern. She doesn't know if it's possible to follow some CDC guidelines, such as the six foot social distancing rule. If I took out everything in my classroom except for student desks, um, I still could not meet the six feet uh, social distancing requirements. Other questions on the minds of teachers what happens if a student gets diagnosed with the coronavirus? Does the whole class, including the teacher and their other classrooms, have to be tested? According to the opinion of another advocacy group, Professional Educators of Tennessee, the answer is yes. Brown says it's a difficult situation. What I'm hearing from medical experts is that uh, reopening schools creates a significant risk to the spread or for the spread of COVID-19. And so uh, I think that's why you are seeing a significant um, surge in anxiety uh, among both educators and parents alike. Kyle Horan, News Channel 5. Brown says she hopes school districts include everyone, including staff and bus drivers, when making decisions about going back to school.